What is up everybody? David Maguire here today, back with another video, and today we're going to use some death PvP, which I know some of you guys want, but today's PvP video is based around a strategy that most deaths use, and a large number of Ices use, because it works very well. It gets rid of your tower shields, and it gets rid of all weaknesses, so yeah. And that is the Shift Green Oak strategy, uh, Strike into Shift Green Oak. If you're under level 108 and do not have Wing of Sorrow, uh, instead of these four Wing Sorrows, have five Skeletal Dragons in. Also carry some, make sure you carry some TC Skeletal Dragons. Um, yeah, this is pretty much how I have it set up. Uh, normally I have one, two, three, four and fouls. I didn't use any of those. Okay, I'm just trying to think when I used my strats, so carry a couple of those, maybe three. But, um, it is, the uh, the Green Oak strategy. And uh, I like it so much because it does a little bit of damage so to get rid of shields and whatnot. Uh, it puts a weakness on them, and it puts a blade on you. You can use both Sharpened Blade and Colossal slash Epic on it. I don't have Epic trained, which I need to get trained. It's not that big of a deal right now. But today we're going to go into this strategy, use it, show you guys how kind of how it works. Um, so, yeah. We're going to actually do ranked because I'm actually trying to uh, get my... Rank up. I don't know. Unless I can find one. I don't know if I want to use it. I don't. I don't want to accidentally use it on like a low level or something because that'd just be really mean. <laughs> and I could blade stack really well. Um, if you can have TC death blades, I think I'm all out. But I'm not pulling any in. But um, if you can, make sure you have TC death blades. They help a lot. Uh, believe it or not. Yeah, carry about three and one one enchant because if you grab it, uh, it works pretty well uh, with this strategy have a bunch of blades. If they like shield spamming and they use set shield, you'll want to use Bone Dragon um, instead of Sorrow. But if they don't use set shields very often, Wing Sorrow actually works a lot better. Uh, I've had a couple matches where I've used it really, really shitty. And I've had a couple matches where I've used it really, really good. So it just depends on really who you're facing and whatnot uh, on how you implement this strategy. But obviously... Uh, if you guys have other death strategies, I know sometimes people like to use the death jade hood, or the jade hood, not the death jade hood. There's no death jade hood. Um, yeah. But as you can see, this is the one that's really been improving my rating. Uh, yesterday I had 20 to 40, 48, so I am I am picking up pace a little bit, so I guess that's improvement. Um, all right, let's try to get a practice match, I guess, because I can't get nothing. I guess as long as I look for... If I go watch, join, 1v1, uh, uh, I don't know what level this is, mm, I'll take his death, right, this is just a practice, I don't know who I'm getting, if it's a low level, I'm gonna pretty much go easy on him, but, uh, the strategy works the same if it's a low level, except the green oak might kill, yeah, he's a master death. An ancient pet. Um, <laughs> obviously, he still might be good. It might just be an intimidation thing, but uh, yeah, because that's just how it works. But yeah, uh, looks like a magus or or a uh, archmage. <laughs> so I do feel bad, just a little bit. But the strategy is gonna work the same way as it would normally. I'm probably just gonna fortify um, to do absorb extra twenty percent of that damage. The strategy works the exactly same way uh, on higher levels, except they can smack you harder. <laughs> I was hoping he was at least level 100 and would use a similar strategy, but um, yeah. See that that's a set death shield. I'm I'm not super mad because I can always just poison because I haven't I haven't set shield yet, or I could always death scarab too. I'm actually gonna death scarab because puts a trap on him, but um, it does work the same way. Uh. It just varies on how you use it. It varies on the level of the person doing it. I'm obviously going to win this match. I kind of feel bad for this person. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. Their natural resist probably isn't that high, so it probably wasn't that big of a deal. But if I were him, I'd just dispel spam right now. But conviction, that's actually a really smart move. Um, <laughs> hopefully that's on a TC. Kind of a waste of a TC for a um, practice match. But that's where you want to go, my friend. I'm going to go ahead and tower shield and whatnot so I can find everything I need. I don't have green oak and I don't have strike, which is okay because I don't have any shadow clips yet, but 
uh, in Kyle's going to help too. That is a death dispel. That's going to make me a little bit angry, but... Oh, it's always been so many pips! I'm going to have to dig for this blade again. All right, whatever. I'll just lose four. I'm not that big of a... <laughs> not that big into it. Um, oh, oh, there it is. I was like, what is my phone? But yeah, he's gonna try blades back in two, which is smart. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pips, and only two blades. I'm gonna do this with Bone Dragon actually, only because I'm a bit of an asshole sometimes. But you know, and this is just this is just revenge because that's just messed up. <laughs> uh, Bone Dragon, watch him lose all his pips. Watch him lose all these pips. Oh. Alright. Alright, I have one blade up. But yeah, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to get two blades up. Shrike. Green Oak. Into a Bound Dragon. Uh, play defensively. I have the tower shield up, so I'm not like super worried about it, but... I do have green. I do have a green up. So hopefully I can draw a strike next so I can strike into green up. Um I do have that original tower shield and he does only have one blade. And because I have uh ten extra death resist on my pet, I'm not too worried about taking a lot of damage from this guy. Um especially considering his pet looks like trash. I mean honestly I could be an ass and just smack him, but I I want to actually use this strat the way you'd want to use it. Of course, I'd be using a lot more tower shields because I'd probably be getting hit a lot more. Um, but yeah. I don't have a strike up, so I'm going to go ahead and death dispel because he has a lot of pips. And he could bone dragon. He could try to go for a Dr. Vaughn. Honestly, if he's high enough level, I don't. I can't quite gauge his level from this, like, you know, the way I have it. But he might actually avenge. Avenging Fossil. Um, which you can use Avenging Fossil if you use the Jade Hood. Um, because it does a lot of initial damage. It doesn't just, it doesn't do a lot over time, but... You know, I don't, I don't know what he's trying to do. Uh, I don't know what he's doing! I can't find a strike either. So this is pretty much what you do, you just shield the blade. And uh hope you can find a strike so you can strike and green oak. He's not playing as defensively as I would expect from a death. Um because that's just kinda how death has to work. But it's all based around level too, like was that heal there a waste of pips? Yes. I haven't smacked him yet. I don't think I've touched him with anything except a death scare. That's what you call a waste of pips. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and infall. I just realized I don't have whiz sounds on. I don't wonder why it's like quiet and stuff. I'm like, hmm. It's been talking into nothing, talking into nowhere. You know what, that's funny, because that's fine, too. Part of how my strategy works. Um, I hope I can Shrike next. I just don't know. We'll have to see, because... You go from, like... Dude, we only got six pips, right? Poison? That was a good move. I had that Cess Shield on, that was... I was the best thing he could have done. I would have shielded actually if I were him, because now I can just completely rock his world. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't really need Shrake at this point, because he's not shielding or anything. Um I could have been an ass and ran him out of cards. 
but this is like the method you want to take. And douche. And, oh, he passed. I want to use something he has, because I'm just nice like that. And because I want you guys to see the pure power that Bun Dragon actually has. Hopefully he doesn't have shift, because that might be the end of the match if he has shift. But yeah. This is going to sting a little bit. It's going to kill if I crit, actually. Oh, he's dead! I gave him the GG. Dang. And I did 2,000. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much how it works. Uh, I would have done a ranked match, but I was kind of lazy on how I wanted to do that. If you like this video, if you have other ways to implement Green Oak strategy, if you think I implemented it wrong, leave a like and comment and tell me down below. Um, I want to know if I did something wrong, because, you know, that I can improve myself to become better at PvP. Um, <laughs> even though Death isn't the greatest class in this current meta, uh, which is kind of depressing, but it's something we're going to have to work with. It's something we're going to have to evolve as the community changes all around, so we'll, we'll figure it out, fam. Anyways, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, stay safe, and peace out.